how do we connect business with the community, business with neighborhoods? Improving economic development in our community. I'm your state capital reporter, Alana Johnson. State legislators are in deep discussion on ways to improve economic development in our community. So I talked to some people about their ways to bolster our economy. Jackie Coney grew up in a big city, but settled in Lansing for its way of life in our neighborhoods. Small towns are something we have that's different, maybe a little different, it can be focused on. But when it comes to growth, she thinks that mid-Michigan can improve on one thing. So starting with regular old people being able to start businesses and support that would be the way to go. Economic development is a goal for state legislators, but Republicans and Democrats are at odds about the best ways to do that and recruit and retain talent to the state. While some in the House are looking towards public transit and affordable housing to focus on, others are looking towards funding our small businesses and people in our neighborhoods agree. Everyone has strengths and we put those strengths together. The strength of the city of Lansing is first and foremost, I think the absolute skilled and diverse workforce that it provides so many businesses throughout the area. And while the best way to bring talent in will always be debated, neighbors know the importance of focusing on these goals. Keep doing what you're doing, Lansing. Keep the faith. Know that what we're doing by being personal, by being accessible, it works. The SOAR bill package needs to be approved by the members of the House before it is enacted. In Rio Town, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.